What did you do before culinary school or why did you choose to sell? Um, before culinary school, I really just had a couple of jobs. I went to regular college at first, um, but I always knew I wanted to go to culinary school. And I was very inspired by the Lenote School being number one for pastry arts. And so specifically, I went there for that. Um, I was really inspired once I got there because all the chefs were, of course, only speaking French, so it made it a little harder to understand. But once I broke the language barrier and really, really realized that I need to look at their hands and focus on that, it just helped me get um, in here for a lot of things. I am a person that's been out of school now for almost 10 years, so I'm only 32, so I didn't do a lot before, <laughs> before school, um, but I'm very grateful for my experience. What inspired you to become a chef? I have been wanting to be a chef since I was five years old. I am the oldest daughter of three girls. Um, I always was at home cooking for my little sisters, and um, I told my mom when I was very young, I want to go to culinary school. I thought I wanted to go to the Art Institute at first, but when I went to go look at schools, I just ended up going to the note, and I felt like I was hands-on there, and that was what I really wanted to do. I didn't want to be in the basketball class. How would you describe the impact Phil had on your courses, on, on your data mission? Um, I tell people all the time, they always ask me, should I go to culinary school? School really taught me discipline. Um, I think if anything else, you can get all the applicable arts outside of the classroom, but learning the expectations of your chefs really is going to help you in the real world. When I transitioned um, from school to real life, I had to be under a time clock. You know, I had to be um, remembering what's in the oven, what needs to come out, what needs to go out to the clients and to the guests at the restaurant. So it just teaches you the timing and the specifics of expectations, what's good and what's bad, what's going to sell, consistency. If you bake one croissant that's this big and one that's a little this small, it's the same price and customers want to see the exact same thing every time they buy something. Do you have any memorable, memorable moments at school? Yes, um, actually post culinary school when I graduated, um, they hosted a pastry competition and it was my first opportunity to show off my wedding cake skills that I didn't learn at Lenoke, but because of my basis there, I was able to apply it to my real life job. So I came and I competed. I don't think I won first place, but I think I won like second or third. I don't remember, I have to look back. But that was really fun to come back and see all the students that had pursued pastry arts for cakes specifically. Do you have any future projects? Yes, I am launching my female chef cook line. I'm very excited about that. Um, just coats that are a little more flattering to the female body that are cut for hips and are up top areas. Um, I'm really excited about that. And I have a couple of things um, food consulting wise with some restaurants and um, Food Network is called a couple of times. So hopefully I go for it. They want me to do Cutthroat Kitchen, but I'm not a fan of that. So hopefully I get placed with something else. Do you have any words of wisdom for anyone in? Aspiring to be a chef or joining culinary. The My tonight. words of wisdom are a sacrifice. No one is going to do it for you. No one is going to make it happen for you. Sacrifice is the name of the game. You can't go out every night. You can't hang out with all your friends all the time. But sacrificing your time and the, the leisures of life will put you ahead. So at 32, I'm where many people are still trying to get to. Um, at 42 and 52, because they just didn't focus their energy. So. My, my advice is always take the sacrifice now so you can enjoy it later. Okay. And then personally, do you, what are your hobbies or things you like to do? Um, my hobbies are traveling because I work really, really hard, so I really enjoy a good vacation. Um, I also enjoy listening to live music, so I like live concerts. And I actually love going out to eat. I, don't, I mean, you know, cooking is great. I love to cook, but I also love to enjoy um, being served and other people's take on the same food. So those are my passions. And then would you agree to come to the institute to meet current students or be a speaker or any other programming? Absolutely, anytime. I, this Luno is an amazing um, chef. He's inspired me so much. He's so supportive of everything that I do. Um, he supported my breast cancer awareness um, cooking class that we do at the school. Um, so anytime they ever need me to come by, I'm happy to come talk to the students and help them see what they can become if they just put a little bit of diligence alongside their education. Okay. That's pretty much it. <laughs>